business to happen, then they should empower women equally. So that is the kind of rationale which we used and we also used a lot of other supporting, uh, you know, aspects like, you know, how more women are, uh, you know, more loyal to the workplace. They don't quit just for power, pay, position, prestige or any of these things. They quit primarily because they're not able to manage home. So these kinds of things we used and we got many corporates to work with us. So at that point of time, about 750 women got placed as second career women. We were very thrilled. We used to feel really good with every woman that got a second chance at a career. The next three years, which is 2009, 10 and 11, we figured out that it was not just enough to obtain careers for women, second careers for women. Why? Because the workplace was still not so sensitive. So there were a lot of issues in terms of, you know, is it the right thing to do? Are, you know, women treated properly after they return? Does an organization have all the career enablers which are required for it? So these kinds of things we started looking at because many of the women who we placed, they quit. And we asked them, why did you quit? And they cited several reasons. They said, no, you know, companies are not comfortable that we are looking at part-time or they are not very confident of our skills. So a lot of these things started coming. So we then said, okay, let us now assess the flexi readiness of an organization. Let us look at creating productivity combined with flexibility because that's what women want. In fact, today if you look at business line, there is an article that uh, I've written about flexibility, you know, questioning Marissa Mayer's decision. She's the chief of Yahoo and there has been a big controversy around the fact that she has abolished work from home options. But the fact is that flexibility is a very big need for every woman. So we created this, uh, you know, service called FlexiCurity, which actually provides career security and performance security for organizations. And slowly we grew and we touched 20,000 members, 25 corporate tie-ups and about 1,300 assignments. And if you look at, you know, where we are right now, there's a, of course, the date, over there is a little bit wrong. It's 8th March 2013 right now and there are 98 lakh women in the Indian workplace and work-life integration has become an accepted norm today. So we have created toolkits for sustainable careers for women and we have created what is called a Segway Sessions which is India's first skill building initiative for second career women. So on this day, the aim of Segway sessions is to ensure that when you go through this whole day, you actually are empowered with confidence, with a lot of skills that corporates look for in you and by making new friends today over here. Because ultimately, you know, we constantly speak about networking and we say, you know, women don't network and women don't have enough networking platforms and things like that. But what is networking? Is it some complicated science that, you know, there is step A and B and then there is a decision point and then C and D and things like that? No. It's just the simple art of making friends. It's the ability to be able to connect to human beings in whichever way. Today you have so many different media. You have social networking media, which reminds me, please, those of you who have not liked our page in Facebook called Avtar Iwin, please go and like it, uh, because only then you will be constantly updated on what's happening. So there are n number of ways in which, you know, you can reach out, you can make friends and you know, actually network and today is going to be one of those opportunities. So during the course of today, you will have different sessions. Uh, soon after this session, there's a tea break and after that you will reconvene uh, for a panel discussion and after the panel discussion, there are three, uh, uh, four workshops which happen, one after the other. So in each of those workshops, during the workshop and between the workshops, you will have time to network. So please ask yourselves, how many women have I made friends with today at the end of the day when I go back? How many corporates have I actually interacted with? How many people do I know? How many have I impressed? How many will remember me? Because that becomes very important to us women because for us, you know, we don't belong to the old boys club, right? By the fact that we are, we never get old and we are women. So two things. So therefore, you know, the old boys network doesn't work for us. But why don't we create the forever young women's network? Yeah? Why don't we make sure that we have 
a women's network of you know people like us who never age and that you know we really are able to connect with each other and ensure that you know we make friends and those friendships actually help us in redefining in re-engaging and rediscovering what our potential is all about today so happy segueing my dear ladies of hyderabad and uh, here's wishing you a fantastic fabulous second career ahead all the best and thank you